Good morning. Will God utterly destroy Babylon? Our reading takes us today to Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 1 to 5. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, against those who dwell in Leb Kamai, a destroying wind. And I will send winnowers to Babylon, who shall winnow her and empty her land. For in the day of doom they shall be against her all around. Against her let the archer bend his bow, and lift himself up against her in his armor. Do not spare her young men, utterly destroy all her army. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and those thrust through in her streets. For Israel is not forsaken, nor Judah, by his God, the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. There comes a time when, can we say it, Babylon has made its case. There comes a time when the issues have been canvassed to the earth, to the universe. Satan has made his case, and God has made his case. Satan has provided his evidence. What use, once that time has come, for Babylon to continue to exist? Now we know the devils will always plead, uh, give us more time, we just need more time. You're not being fair to us, we need more time to make our case. We know they'll make those kinds of claims. But most of the free beings in the universe have looked at all the facts, and by this time they've aligned on God's side. Once the cases have been made, once the evidence has been given, no purpose is served in letting abominations and atrocities continue. There just isn't any reason to allow it to carry on. There comes a time when, I guess we can say God, who is, is the parent in the room, needs to just close down Babylon. And we see in our passage that in the end, God will not forsake his faithful. Verse 5, even though they've sinned, they have forsaken their sins, they have received his help and power, and they're on God's side of the question once and for all. They're changed people. Many times God gives reassurance to his people in captivity that this is a moment in time, their experience will not endure indefinitely, there comes a time of triumph for the kingdom of heaven. Oh, we praise him for this. We do. Let's, uh, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we understand that we need to do our part so that you can continue to make your case. You can provide the evidence the universe is looking for to see that once and for all that you are right, that the devil is wrong. Well, please, Lord, may we not stand in the way. May we be available agents to you so that you can use us to show the world how the great controversy needs to end up. Oh, please, Lord, draw us close to the heart of Jesus. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Will God utterly destroy Babylon? God will utterly destroy Babylon. There are wonderful days ahead stretching out to eternity. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.